Hello. In this uh, basic demo, I'm going to show you how you can uh, create custom decals that we can put on our 3D geometry. Um, first thing what we're going to do is maybe we want to put a logo on this odd face here. Okay. Um, the first thing what I do is I go and download. I go to um, Inkscape.org and download this free program. Inkscape.org. This, uh, this is a much like Adobe Illustrator. It's a vector-based graphic program. It's free, open source, and it's uh, very easy to use. So, and I'll show you why we download this. Because if you're going to get really into sophisticated decals, um, that's a good program to have. So the first thing what I want to do, if I want to make a decal that kind of fits on here, and let's say we want to look at it at this face make sure our perspective is off right and then if you're using Windows you can go to uh, the snipping tool it's free with um, Windows you say new and you can kinda just uh, take a screenshot say edit copy and then go to your Inkscape and on this layer say edit paste what that does is uh, let's swing here. Now we have an exact shape we can trace over. So we're going to lock this layer, create a new layer on top of it to draw our art on. Hit the plus key to zoom in. So um, I'm just going to do this real quick. So let's say I want to do like some whoops. We'll just do some. Just you know, roughly giving you an idea of what's going on here. Um, so we have that. We'll uh, make that a little thicker. Stroke. A little too thick. Okay, maybe we want that to filled in with the blue. And we'll just put some text on here. Uh, mapping uh, decal. Right, very simple. Um, that's what you look like. So we don't need this anymore. And here's our decal, more or less. So we'll just uh, file, save this as a uh, bitmap, right? We're just going to put it somewhere. We'll just put it to the desktop bitmap. Save. Export. Okay, once that's done, we can uh, go back to IronCAD. We'll click on that face. Say smart paint decal and then go get decal from a selected image and go get that uh, decal right here. Say okay. You notice we don't see it that good. Well, there's a couple of options if we uh, right click on the, the face while selecting smart paint. On the decal, you see you got a number of image projection modes. Slide projector is basically just taking a picture and projecting it against that face along some vector. Cylindricals obviously going around a cylinder, sphericals around a sphere, and natural will just try to fit that face. So let's try that, see what it looks like. If you see that, it fits pretty perfect, right? Because um, we, we kind of drew it to fit naturally. And there's our decal. Now, if, now if we didn't really want this, uh, you know, natural. Let's say we want to go back to our Inkscape and we just want to have a new decal. I'm going to add a new one, maybe of just a box right here, like this. Put a circle.
so that's that's a decal we want, right? So we'll go to File, save this out. Call it Bitmap Two. X Pro. Okay. Let's go back to Ironcad, and we're going to replace this decal with the new one. So we'll go Small Paint Decal. Okay. The next one. If we leave it at natural see it tries to fit the whole face we don't really want that we want it to fit right in this area so in this case we want to go use a projector tool so if we pick that right we don't really you see like something going on here we're not sure it is so if you want to see like a shadow box of the actual decal to size what you want to do is you want to go up to visualization and hit the decal here on the smart paint and then if you zoom out, that's the size of the decal. You see, so we're only getting a corner of it. So a little trick here to give you a little head start. If you just right click anyway while you have the shadow box on and say fit the model, it kind of gets it close to where you want, right? And now you have these handles you can drag to fit the decal. The center handle will just relocate it if that's what you like. Um, go back here turn the decal off and now you have it all set okay hope that provides a little insight into placing decals on parts relatively quick now the one more thing that they you one more I want to add is you don't really need Inkscape Inkscape you might find a um, image on the website let's say I'm just gonna do a quick search here Images and I don't know icons. Let's just see what we have here. Well, that's not really good. Let's come over here. Let's say we want this icon here. Whoops. This is not really. Let's look for something better. Let's look for a. Just see here. Okay, Starbucks, right? So if we click Starbucks and we just right click, say save images, save image as. I'm going to save it to the desktop again. Starbucks coffee logo. So I'm just saying we don't need to create our own decals if we don't want. We can just grab something off the web and now go back to Smart Paint, decal, and uh, get the Starbucks logo. OK, and it just happens to be that very same size. If you see this erroneous uh, things here, this is usually a graphics issue. So uh, it, when you go into render, that will um, disappear in the rendering, as you can see. So it's only really in the, um, if you're using a, a weird card, which I am on this particular computer. Uh, another thing to note here, see, maybe we don't want this white area around the logo. Well, you can um, right click the face that the decal's on, right? Go to Smart Paint, Decal, and then under here, Transparency, you can say, let's see through all the white pixels. Okay? Go OK, and you see what happens there. It actually did inside here the white too. Um, and if we do a render, you see the white's gone. All right. So this is nice if you have like a wood grain on as an image file, which we can show here. Let's see if I have. Uh, if we right click, go to Smart Paint, and as a color we use a texture. I don't know if I have wood here. Let's see. Let's try styrofoam. Okay. And we just leave it at automatic. Let's see what happens. We have to re recreate operations, recreate display. Let's 
it's not showing in here for some reason but you see I have the sty styrofoam now but with the logo on top of the sty styrofoam not sure why it's not showing here it's, it could be a little hiccup we have you can adjust the styrofoam to be a little smaller maybe a little tighter get an idea how to work now, right? I uh, hope this gives you a little insight into some decals and uh, texturing. Enjoy.